Today I'm going to be showing you how to color grade your music videos. To anybody that's watching, I hope you've seen the previous videos I've done about editing your music videos. Take these videos as a starting point, nothing final. Um, a lot of people want to know how, but they don't know where to start, so that's what I'm here for. The first thing you want to do before you start color grading is drop an adjustment layer onto your timeline. Once that's done, you add a Lumetri color. Now I'm going to show you how I got this effect and I actually use my LUTs and I color grade and I'm going to show you how. So let's look at this shot before and after and you'll see what I mean. So what I did to get this kind of look was I added this LUT I've created and I've used it for a previous music video. I'm going to show you how I applied this LUT and made some adjustments to it. If you don't know what a LUT is, a LUT is a preset that is going to change some colors in your video. Different LUTs change different colors and have different effects. One LUT isn't going to make your footage look professional. I see people apply LUTs to a shot and sometimes it doesn't work. You still have to make adjustments so it's best to learn this way just so you know how to. So what I did was apply this LUT and then I changed the intensity to about 60%. I'm going to show you what it looks like at 100%. So you want to play with this slider, especially when you're applying LUTs, because sometimes LUTs come on too strong. And if you only want subtle changes, then this is how you get that. The next thing I did was I went down to color wheels and match. And this is where you can really get, you know, or really dial in that adjustment that you really want. Let me show you what this looks like on top of the LUT. I don't know if you noticed, but take a look at the wall and the shadow areas of the shot and you'll see what's changing the one that made this look so much more professional now i'm going to show you how you can do the same thing so what i did was i played with the shadows down here usually i go about somewhere between green and blue just to set the tone perfectly and then i played with the slider in the mid tones and i warmed up the mid tones about not not that much but you can play with it depending on what you're going for this is all personal preference to be honest this is really where you show off your video or your film as a director or cinematographer so I'm pulling all of the mid tones to a warmer tune and as you can see everything is getting more like a summer like a summer vibe to it it doesn't look bad so I'm gonna to continue to play with this just to show you what these sliders and colors do for the shadows I'm gonna pull the shadows more to let's say a more more blue let's see what that looks like so take a look at the shadow areas in the shot and you can see what exactly this is doing What I'm doing is complementing the colors that way it doesn't look, you know, psychedelic or like some weird shit is going on. So for the highlights, I'm going to pull the highlights. Um, I'm going to just play with it so you can see what it does. Um, that way you can have some idea of what you're going for what, or how to get there. like this right about right about in I actually like this right about there so let's make this bigger and you can see 
these are all colors in different tone areas of the shot. You have the dark, you have the mid tones, and you have the white tones. So just playing with these sliders, we got this effect. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like before and after, even with the LUT applied. So as you can see, this is with the LUT at 60%, and then we added the color wheels and match. And look at that. Now I'm gonna do something a little more creative, and that's adding a vignette and also desaturating some colors. So to do that, you wanna to go to HSL secondary. And what this does is you can select a color and just, you know, either dial it down or dial it up. I'm gonna grab um, this color on the wood. Um, and I'm gonna, just for this video, I'm gonna change that up a bit. So playing with these sliders are going to help the computer decide which area of that tone you wanna you wanna change. So as you can see, I'm, I'm selecting the dark and the light parts of it and the saturation of it. Now you wanna go down to this slider and you wanna go to saturation and you can turn this up. You can turn this up like that and have your shot completely or whatever you're dialing up completely um, saturated or you can dial it down and say about 75 so as you can see what we just did was we took that wood tone and we dialed it down just a little bit and now it looks like this so let me show you before and after So subtle changes making a big difference. So we can add a vignette also to the shot and adding a vignette to the shot is gonna help focus the viewer's eyes directly in the center of this image. So let's look at this before and after and let's see what it looks like. Now we've came a long way even with using a LUT and this is what you wanna achieve. You know, you don't wanna just slap on a LUT and just call it a day. You can still make adjustments to get that final look and make your videos look so much more professional. Also, you want to keep in mind that the adjustment layer is above all of your clips on the timeline. So that means all of the changes you've made will apply to all of the clips on the timeline. So I hope with this video, you was able to learn how to create your colors a lot better. If you haven't as yet, please watch my previous videos on how to edit music videos. So when you get to this video, it all makes sense and you're ready to go.